it's really important that organisations like the Craft Council uh, put activities like crafts, which are so important for the UK's economic future, on the radar of policymakers. Governments have traditionally focused on individual sectors and industries, which make big contributions to jobs, exports and GDP. Um, but uh, this research reminds us that it's often the cross-sectoral collaborations and linkages which are responsible for innovation and growth in the longer run. So government really needs to sort of wake up to the uh, potentially unexploited opportunity to create more growth opportunities through connecting sectors rather than supporting individual ones. Sarat Babu, who was one of our case study examples, um, has really combined his engineering background with his craft skills to produce some great outcomes. Um, his innovations in the medical industry will have a real profound impact going forward and also importantly contribute to economic growth, which is why we looked at the report. And one of the key things we found through doing this work was that there's a real lack of understanding and awareness of what craft is in the modern economy um, and it's that real um, understanding that can be developed to produce more innovation and collaboration going forward that again will help the sector realise its potential and contribute more to economic growth. What craft brings is really important contribution in terms of a way of thinking, that really deep understanding of materials, technical expertise and a sort of connection with people, that embodiment of skills that craft has. I think this is a crucially important step because, to me, craftsmanship is not something that sits only in a sculptor's workshop or a glassblower's studio. Craftsmanship is an essential element, uh, not only of those, of those of skills, but also of clinical practice, my own area, and many forms of scientific research, particularly biomedical research. People who use manufacturing and physical practice um, actually have a voice, and it's fantastic that the Crafts Council has kind of risen up to the challenge to represent the entire making industry. Uh, everyone from uh, you know, engineering technicians to uh, pottery to design, uh, it really requires that we have a national presence and someone that's really championing our impact not only to the creative industries but to the UK economy and internationally as well. I think that reports like this are incredibly important because although there are lots of anecdotal pieces of evidence, to have a really rigorously put together and thoughtful report is going to help us to attract attention and really make our case properly against all the other competing demands on public funding and attention at the moment. There are a group of things that the craft sector are doing which is really pushing the boundaries um, in innovations in materials, techniques, and so on, where crafts together with technology and modern business approaches are, are doing some really new innovative things. And if the UK wants to carry on competing on a global stage, um, we're going to have to be doing more and more of this type of things. This report is really important because it helps us to understand once and for all that craft isn't some kind of twee activity for a few semi-retired middle-aged people in the home counties, but it's actually integral to the future of a high-value, high-quality, innovation-led um, economy. Uh, so this report absolutely gets to the heart of that. I think people's attitudes are changing, and I think over the coming years we will see the words craft, innovation, economic dynamism go together more often, and I think people will see this report as an important turning point.